Greetings and blessings. Welcome to Catholic Worship Online. My name is Tom Lelio, and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick review of the OnSong app for the Apple iPad. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how OnSong solves the problem of no longer having to carry around these huge binders of sheet music, um, possibly losing some of your sheet music, and just having this, this big thing to carry around all the time. So let's open the app. And I want to show you, this is my entire library right here. These are all the songs that I have. And there are hundreds and hundreds of songs. Some of them are more than one page. So there's all the songs, and it's as easy as just picking a song. And there it is. Okay. That's how simple it is. All right, the next question that OnSong answers is the ability to transpose a song. So let's go ahead and find a song in here, um, All Creatures of Our God and King. All right, right now it's in the key of G. Um, and sometimes I just like the chord shapes of G, but uh, let's see if we can go into tra and transpose it. We click on the pencil tool, which enables you to edit anything in here. And then we're gonna click on the piano keyboard and select another key. Let's say D. Click done and it's done. So of course this is great when your voice is you know higher or lower a certain day maybe you're sick or uh, you're just playing with someone who doesn't know you know certain chord shapes so you don't have to transpose in your head. OnSong does it with a click of a button. Okay Another solution that OnSong offers is the ability to sync between your devices. And what I mean by sync is sync your library. So if we go into songs, go to add, here's all the ways to import a song, but right here you'll see where it says synchronize. And you can drop sync with your Dropbox, your mobile me, or another FTP client that you may have. And you can add that source. But what's awesome is when I go into my Dropbox account, here are all the songs that I can rest assured are synced on my Dropbox. And they have different arrows here you know, depending if you need to upload them or download them. Um, but now what I could do is I can go to my Dropbox and they're all there. Or if I have to get a brand new iPad for some reason, um, or one of the band members gets an iPad, uh, they can use my Dropbox um, to get the library from them. And I don't have to do anything. I don't have to send them all the, the, the files and stuff like that. They just log into Dropbox and now they have all the, all the music. Okay, another awesome feature of OnSong is the ability to use a Bluetooth pedal. So let's take a look. All right. Now I'm going to be using the the AirTurn BT105. And uh, I mean it's pretty simple. Just click the pedal and it switches from sheet to sheet. Pretty standard. But you know what? OnSong goes the next step. Let's say that you have a set list that is... Notice how the song continues to go down? Well, what do you do? On most pedals, you're sunk. But with iPad, I'm sorry, OnSong, it scrolls down for you. And then it goes to the next sheet. See how it scrolls down? And then if it doesn't have to, it'll just go to the next song. But you can scroll down, scroll back. And this is also great if you don't have great sight. You can zoom in, just like that, 
And then Ansong will just scroll down for you throughout the song. So again, this is where Ansong kind of separates itself from the pack and goes the next mile. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is how easy it is to import songs. We're just going to go to the Songs tab, click Add, and either I can add a new song and just begin typing away, okay, or we can look for existing songs to add. We can import from the internet, and this uses the QWERTY database, but this is still awesome because you're, if you're connected to the internet, you can get any song you need. You can use Song Select by CCLI if you have an account, and this is awesome. Uh, the only difficulty with the Song Select um, import feature is that it imports the, the chord sheets as PDFs, and so as a result, you can't um, quickly convert the file from a PDF to the OnSong text files. And the reason you would want to use the OnSong text files is because you can hook your iPad up to a video projector and what OnSong will do is it'll get rid of the chords for you and it'll project only the lyrics. So if you're leading worship for a small group that uses a projector, now you're in control. So you don't have to whisper to the person, like, hey, I'm gonna play this song next or go to the chorus or whatever, you're in control. As you're following along on your chord sheet using the OnSong app, uh, so too is the projector. The other thing, obviously, is when you have your, when you have your music in the OnSong text file format, it enables you to transpose the songs quickly. That's what enables you to do it. So you need to have, uh, you want to use text files, not PDFs or Word docs. So um, that's kind of a, uh, a big key that when you're importing your songs, make sure that they're in text file format and OnSong will convert it. And I'll show you how to do that. You can also import songs from your Dropbox folder. You can import from your mobile me. All right. So uh, let me just show you real quick. What you can do is if you have a song, like There's No One Like You, um, you know, originally it looked like this, and you can click the convert file and it'll change it to the on, uh, on song file. You might have to go back in and, and tweak some things, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty, you know, it just kind of works, so. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, overview of the OnSong app for the iPad 2. Uh, be sure to check out the full review at catholic-worship.com. Also, the developer Jason from OnSong was kind enough to give me a couple of free promo codes uh, for the app. So if you're interested in downloading the app, um, go to the website, catholic-worship.com, and send me an email. And if you're one of the first persons to do that, and I still have some left, I'll be happy to share that with you, courtesy of Jason, the developer for OnSong app, and the Catholic Worship blog. God bless.